Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing basically the part two of my perfume dupes video. I did one like this not too long ago and I told you guys I have another one coming because I have way more dupes. In that video, I said that I was showing you six dupes and then I ended up actually only showing you five because I missed one. So in this video, I'm actually showing you six dupes. But basically the gist of these videos is I show you a lot more affordable options for designer slash niche perfumes. None of these dupes are dupes that are coming from like a dupe house or anything like that. These are just affordable perfumes that I have in my collection that I've bought personally. Some of them are celebrity perfumes and just perfumes in general that just have such a lower cost. Honestly, these dupes, pretty much all of them are about $20 and under, maybe $30 at most in comparison to the higher end options, which some of these higher end options are like 100. And actually I do have a niche uh, perfume dupe in this video and that is a over $300 perfume that I'm duping for, I think, like 30 bucks. Before I get started, I did want to say my lip combo that I'm wearing because I always get questions about my lip combos. In some videos, I say what I'm wearing and then in some videos, I don't. But I really like this combo and I want to be able to look back at it and remember what I wore. So starting off with MAC Strip Down Liner. Then over top of that, I have the Patrick Ta She's Secure uh, liquid lipstick. And then to top it off, to add a little shine, I'm using the MAC Dazzle Glass lip gloss in Moth to Flame. And it's just like a really pretty glittery champagne sort of gloss. So that is my lip combo. It's like a perfect nude combo. All right, with all that being said, let's get into this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and let's go. Okay, so the first perfume I'm duping, I'm going to start off with the high-end version and then I'll show you guys the dupe. So this is Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. I love this fragrance. It literally smells like candy apple mixed with like berries. It's super like sweet and fruity and sugary and candy-like. But then those berries just kind of add a little bit of depth into this and literally makes you smell like candy. It's so edible and delicious. But I do have a dupe for you guys and the dupe for this fragrance is literally spot on like I can barely notice any really any difference and the dupe is Ariana Grande Thank You Next 2.0. This is the flanker to the original Thank You Next. In my opinion this smells nothing like the original Thank You Next. I do really like Thank You Next but that's more of like a macaroon marshmallowy sweet scent but it has like this tartness to it and it's just a lot more different overall than this and that perfume is actually also notorious for smelling like pickles. If you know, you know. And I'm happy to report this one actually does not smell like pickles. This one literally smells like Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. This also smells like a sweet candy apple with berries kind of intertwined into it. And let's take a look at the notes side by side. So I'm going to have Kayali's notes right here and Thank You Next 2.0 right here. You can see that they both have apple. Now, granted, the Thank You Next 2.0 has apple juice, whereas Eden Juicy Apple just has red apple. But I mean... Yeah, same, same difference. They both have berries in them. They both have jasmine in them. They both have a sweet factor. Like in the base notes, you get sugar and vanilla for Kayali. Whereas in Thank You Next 2.0, you get marshmallow. So yeah, again, same difference kind of. Now, I guess I did lie about the price point of the dupes being like $20 and $30 and under because this one is a little bit more expensive. It depends on where you find it. I feel like you could probably find it on Mercari for really inexpensive. Unless people are like upcharging like crazy on the scent because this was kind of like a limited edition scent. But I am looking up on the Walgreens website right now and it is available for $45. That's a little bit higher than I wanted to. I thought this was going to be a little bit less expensive, especially because it's been out for a while. But I guess because it was limited edition and at the time it was super sought after. I don't know if you guys remember the whole dedicated review. Like if you remember that video, then you are an OG subscriber. So leave me in the comments if you've been around since I did the like dedicated review on this perfume. But I told you guys how I literally had to go on a mission and a half to try to find this. And I just remember everyone lost their shit when this came out. Like everyone was trying to find it. And now I hear like nobody talking about it. But it is a great dupe for... Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. Eden Juicy Apple will cost you $125 if you buy the full size, whereas Thank You Next 2.0 will cost you, like I said, $45. But I would say search like Mercari and things like that. Do your research on this a little bit before you spend the $45. Still, it's a fraction of the cost of what this one is, so it's a lot better, the price point. I just wish it was a little lower. Take this next dupe with a grain of salt because this one is kind of the only one 
that isn't 100% similar, but it is better. And the original in question is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, the ever so famous Light Blue. I have the O Intense version here, but I'm just talking about the general Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I feel like they all smell the same. This one's just a little bit more heightened and intensified. I don't really smell that big of like a scent difference. So I'm just talking about like the original light blue when I'm saying this. I feel like I don't even need to get into depth about what this smells like because I think a lot of people already know, but it's like an insanely citrusy scent and very cedar-like. So it almost kind of comes off as smelling cologne-ish because it is very fresh. Like there's absolutely zero sweetness in here or anything. I wouldn't say cologne-ish, I would just say unisex. Like literally anybody can wear this. It's extremely woody and citrusy and very aromatic. It's a really perfect like summertime scent. And the dupe that I have is actually so much better. This is actually a perfume that I've never talked about on my channel. It's brand new. I have yet to haul it in a video. I've had it in my collection for a while, but it's one of those scents that I always talk to you guys about how I have all these like perfume hauls to do on scents that I've bought like months ago that I just haven't made videos on. This is one of them. So this will definitely be featured in an upcoming affordable perfume haul, but until then, the dupe is Violet Eyes by Elizabeth Taylor. This is a fragrance house I never thought I would be into because most of Elizabeth Taylor's perfumes I've that I've smelled at least have been super, super mature and very dated. And that's because they've been around for a really, really long time. That's not a dig at the fragrances. That's just not my perfume taste type of thing. But I came across this. I saw it on Amazon. This fragrance is so inexpensive. I believe this is like $28. I think it's in my Amazon storefront. So I will link my storefront. So good. It is so much better than light blue. It's the same, but also very different. This is really powdery. So whereas the original light blue is like a very airy, fresh, crisp, aromatic, citrus, woody scent. This one still has that cedar, so you're not losing that, but this one doesn't really have any citrus going on. It actually has peach, and I don't know if maybe that's what's giving this the powderiness that it has, or maybe the peach in mixture with the amber, but there is a really powdery, almost creamy vibe going on here, and this actually smells a lot sweet, not a lot sweeter, but there's a sweet factor to this that light blue just doesn't even have at any point. I will say I smelled this perfume the other day at a Nordstrom rack and I do think that it's very similar to that and I'm looking on Fragrantica right now and that's like the number one fragrance as well as light blue. So I would say this is kind of like the baby of the two fragrances. It's a lot more soft and more feminine smelling than light blue. So if you're looking for something like that and maybe that's one of the things that put you off on light blue because I know that's a big reason why people don't love light blue is because it kind of can tend to come off a little masculine or just like too citrusy and too crisp. I feel like this is definitely one to try. And even if you own the original light blue, this isn't such a spot on dupe to where if you have both, you like have the same fragrance. No, this one offers so much more. It's so well rounded. It feels so feminine and soft and powdery and just so good like i don't know how to explain it but i fell in love with this as soon as i smelled it this is like a springtime scent for sure like spring and summertime but i almost feel like spring a little bit more because it's it is a little bit florally like violet kind of like and it definitely smells like light purple like the color light purple the full size bottle of dolce and gabbana light blue will cost you 116 dollars for the full size whereas violet eyes will cost you about 28 dollars give or take some websites listed for more some for less i think the cheapest that i found is on amazon i personally bought mine on amazon so i would recommend go there and i will have it linked in my storefront if you want to get it through there this next dupe is probably the closest most spot on to the original that i have in this entire video these two are literally the exact same scent. Like there is literal no differences between either of the scents other than the brand and the price point. Everything else is the exact same. So the perfume I'm duping is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I feel like this is a really popular scent right now. I see it all the time on like perfume TikTok. I really like Gorgeous Gardenia. It's like a very tart brown sugary i don't even know how to explain it. it's really strange it does not smell like gardenia at all 
So I don't know what they were thinking with naming this gorgeous gardenia because I don't smell gardenia at all Which is perfectly fine with me because gardenia just happens to be one of my least favorite scents ever But this to me honestly smells like just a more grown-up version Like just a little bit of a more mature version of Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture Which we all know what that perfume smells like so think of that just a little bit more expensive and just I don't know a little bit more mature like Viva La Juicy is like you know, your teenage years, this is your 20s, 30s type of thing. It's very sweet and also a little fresh at the same time. Really have nothing bad to say about it. I really, really like it. But the dupe, I've heard nobody talking about this fragrance ever. And I bought this a while back at either a Ross or a Burlington, one of those discount stores. And that is I Love Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture. This fragrance and Gorgeous Gardenia are the exact same fragrance, just rebottled. I almost feel like this one's a little bit like more smooth. It's not as tart, but the fragrances, like they're spot on. The notes aren't that, that similar. If you see them side by side, you get sort of like a berry fruity opening in both. And they actually both have Mandarin orange, so there's that. Then the middle notes, you both get jasmine. And then in the base, they do both have patchouli, but it's like this very specific type of patchouli that they both have. It's a very smooth type of patchouli. It's almost like sweet patchouli. It's like fruit chouli. That's what it is. Really, the only thing that differs between these two is the price point. So whereas Gorgeous Gardenia will cost you about $155, the I Love Juicy Couture fragrance will cost you somewhere in the $34 range. Like $30 to $35 type of range it depends on where you get it again with all these affordable fragrances it really really depends but this has been out for a while so do your research on it i'm sure you can find a really really decent price on this maybe even under 30 dollars i think i bought mine for under 30 dollars or it might have been just barely like 29.99 something like that so it was very inexpensive though especially in comparison to the price point of gorgeous gardenia but next up i'm going to be duping one of my all-time favorite fragrances i freaking love this scent you guys know how much i love it i don't shut up about it and that is lolita lampica this is such a good scent it brings me back all the memories and i love it it's so sexy it's cherry it's licorice it's one of my husband's favorite fragrances on me so i love this it is such a whimsical and fun and unique fragrance and the dupe i actually recently talked about this in my most recent perfume haul that i did my affordable perfume haul this dupe comes from Char I keep wanting to say Charlotte Tilbury. This is by Charlotte Roos and it's called Nights. It's Refuge Nights. This Refuge line of perfumes is like exclusive to Charlotte Roos. And this Nights version is kind of like a flanker to the original Refuge. I talked about three of these fragrances in my affordable perfume haul. So go and check that one out. I'll link it up here if you want to. But this one specifically, the Nights version, this is... Straight up a dupe for Lolita Lampica. I will say though, the cherry in here is a little bit brighter. It's not as dark as it is in Lolita Lampica. It's a little bit more fruity and fresh, but it has a strong, strong, strong similarity. And guys, the price points of these two is insane. Lolita Lampica already isn't like the most expensive perfume ever. It depends on where you buy this, but I feel like this ranges at about like 50 to $70. So it's in that range. It's not terribly expensive, but it's not like the cheapest perfume ever. But Night will literally cost you $10.99. So I mean, it really doesn't get cheaper than that. They do both share that cherry note and kind of like a woody deep vanilla in both. Nights doesn't have licorice, but it gives me like a slight licorice vibe. I just feel like because it lacks the licorice, it's not as deep. It just, it lacks a little bit of depth in comparison to Lolita Lampica, but honestly, they smell so similar. I will say because of the price point, this one does smell a little cheaper. It doesn't smell as potent and just, you know, it doesn't give you that quality that Lolita Lampica has. But if you want a similar scent to Lolita Lampica and you don't want to spend $70 on it and you have $10.99 to spare, then you basically kind of can get the scent with this fragrance. Okay, this next scent is already kind of an affordable-ish fragrance to begin with. And that is Ariana Grande's Cloud. And we're going to be duping this 
with another perfume that I've never showed on my channel. This is going to be hauled pretty soon, but this perfume is kind of right in between Cloud and also Dark Cherry and Amber by Banana Republic. Especially this one a little bit, and I'll tell you guys why. So the dupe that I have is Guess Seductive Red. So you guys know how much I love Seductive Noir. And I saw that they had this new flanker at Burlington, so I had to pick it up. This fragrance is so good. When I initially looked up the notes of this fragrance, and I saw what perfumes it was compared to, Cloud was like the number one fragrance. And yes, there is that vibe in here, but this is more. And this is, dare I say, again, better than Cloud. I wouldn't say that I don't like Cloud, but I also don't love, love, love it. It's a nice scent, don't get me wrong. It's being compared to Baccarat Rouge, it's like super famous for its comparison to Baccarat Rouge, which I personally don't think that they smell that similar having owned the original Baccarat Rouge. I think that there definitely is a difference. I think Cloud is way, way sweeter and creamier. You can smell the quality difference basically. And with Guest Seductive Red, this smells honestly more, a little more high end to me than Cloud. The dry downs are very, 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 very similar, but they do differ a little bit when they first open up. So the major difference between this and Cloud is that this actually has a cherry note, which is why I'm comparing it to Dark Cherry and Amber, which also smells very similar it's a cloud other than the cherry notes but I am leaning on this being a little bit more of a dupe for a cloud because in the dry down they're super super similar I can smell a little hint of the cherry so this one's a little bit more like red and I actually really kind of prefer this one more I think it offers a little bit more and it almost smells more expensive like it smells more complex than the original cloud so Take that as you will, you know what I mean? Like you make your own decisions. I don't know how much it is online. I'm gonna look it up for you guys. But if you can find it at like a Burlington, I literally found this for like $15. But straight up, I feel like this smells like it could be way more than even a hundred bucks. So where the full size of Cloud will retail about $65, you could find a full size of Guest Seductive Red for only 19 bucks on fragrance okay, size. So my last and final dupe, I actually don't have neither the original or the dupe to show you guys, but I have owned the dupe in the past. I just decluttered it because it just, it wasn't for me. So I'm only sharing this perfume dupe, not because I super, super love it. Obviously I decluttered it, so obviously I don't, but I know a lot of people really, really love it and it has been kind of deemed to be like a really complimented scent. So if it works out for you, then that's great, especially because the more expensive version is about 300 and something dollars because it's a fragrance by Parfums de Marly. So I am duping Meliora by Parfums de Marly. So the reason why I'm making this comparison is because I recently got a chance to smell Meliora when I was in Saks Fifth Avenue. They had all the Parfums de Marly fragrances out so I smelled every single one of them. That's how I bought Delina, but I did smell Meliora just because I had known about this dupe, so I wanted to kind of verify if they actually did smell similar, and it definitely, definitely does. They are spot on. They are so, so similar, and the price range is actually insane between these two, and just to put the cherry on top, they have the exact same perfumer. So they're literally created by the exact same person, which also tell you something. So the dupe to Meliora, I'm telling you guys, this is like, spot on 100% dupe. That is Amethyst by Lilique. I don't know if I ever did a haul where I showed Amethyst. I would assume so because I feel like I always show you guys the perfumes that I buy before I declutter them especially. I'm not sure if I ever showed it though now that I'm thinking about it. Like I don't remember. If you guys remember, like if you watch my videos and you ever remember me hauling that perfume, let me know. And if you know which video that was, but I feel like I almost never really talked about it. I don't know, I'm like, I'm like second guessing myself now, but these two, not only do they share the exact same perfumer, but they share so many similarities in the notes. So Amethyst is, it literally smells like berries to an insane level. That's what kind of drew me in because I love berry scents, but it's not just a berry scent. It literally has black currant, blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, big strawberry, like, all the berries every single berry you can think of like mostly purple berries but it's equal part berry and equal part green leaves of the berries like all of those little leaves that the berries have if you were to smell those that's more so what it smells like rather than the actual sweet berry fruit if if that makes sense so that's what kind of i didn't love i love green scents in moderation but that was just a little too green for me there was something that was 
slightly synthetic. It didn't work out for me, but I'm including it because I know a lot of people love it. And especially because of the price point difference, I had to talk about this dupe because I think it's an amazing dupe. But just like the berries that are in Amethyst, Meliora also shares a couple berry notes as well, like blackcurrant and red berries. And they both are kind of like musky and vanilla-y in the dry down. So they're very, very similar. I'm not even gonna like compare the notes or anything because all you need to know is that they literally smell the exact same. But Meliora will cost you the small price of $355, whereas Lelique's Amethyst is $25. So, yeah, that definitely has to be the best dupe as far as price point in this entire video. It is a crazy price difference. Highly recommend you go for Lelique's Amethyst if you're thinking about buying Meliora because they smell the exact same and so many people can verify that not even just me but like if you read reviews or you do your re own research they are so so similar and so many people would agree so i definitely had to let you guys know about it even though i don't like it maybe you guys don't. okay so that is it for this video i hope you guys liked yet another perfume dupes video let me know if you want to see more of these but that is it for me today. Let me know any perfume dupes that you have for like really high-end expensive options because I'm always open to know any other dupes to add in a future dupes video. That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!